So we've gone through everything that's going on. Now let's talk about our homework assignment. I'm back for real this time. Jace was all set for this a week ago. So I asked, um, you know, what comic book movie castings were terrible, which, you know, we all fan cast. Like we were just talking Meryl Streep would be awesome as Aunt May, as the real Madam Web or Agatha Harkness. It should be great. So we all do this. And then when so-and-so gets announced to play so-and-so, we're like, what? Have you read the comic book? Have you ever seen this character? Why would you think this actor should portray them? Why? So that being said, what are the worst comic book movie castings so far? And, uh, you know, we'll keep doing it like we, we do these. Let's just do one this time. Keep around, Robin. And uh, Jace, I feel like you've been talking too much. So, Chief, why don't you go first? Fantastic Four. Any any movie, any of them. <laughs> All of them. Everybody. The whole entire cast for every single one of the Fantastic Four movies should have been scrapped and thrown in the garbage. <laughs> Any garbage you want. The near garbage, the far garbage, garbage day, garbage can, garbage truck, waste management company. Wherever there is a trash receptacle, everyone should have been thrown into that trash receptacle and emptied promptly at your nearest trash station. Okay? So, yes. Fantastic Four, pick one. Everyone. <laughs> Wow. I what put Miles Teller as Reed Richards, but you just completely nuked the entire thing. Chris Evans, Michael Chiklis were great. It's Human Torch and the thing. Green Man said all the dooms. Yeah. The Doctor Dooms, they can put all of them. Everybody yeah. I'm, uh, the, the, I, 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 I mean, it's funny. We all have one or two cast members from a Fantastic Four movie that definitely is going in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Julian McMahon was terrible. Oh, yeah. Doctor He's on the list. Yeah. Mean, Kate Mara is Sue Storm. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole casting of that was bad. It was like, what? Oh, gosh. Just, I mean, when, when you hear the casting announcement, it was like, what? Pedro Pascal is Mr. Fantastic. It's going to be interesting. Every yeah. fantastic move. <laughs> okay. You didn't, okay. You didn't like Jessica Alba as Sue Storm? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. He said it. I didn't. I'm like, no, no. Come on. Come on, Jace. I mean, really? I mean, yes. But come on. Jessica Alba and Sue Storm. Yes, he's silence. Your, your, your silence says I'm, everything I need to know. I'm sorry. I got, would you watch that movie again? I like the movies. Yeah. I don't necessarily think she was a great Sue Storm. I was like, okay, because I feel like there was any blonde that they could have basically hired to be Sue. And they were just like, let's get Jessica Alba. She's a hot it girl. Let's do that. She's not the strong part of the performances in those films. And and the problem is they try to do, they make her a little less damsel in distress. And Jessica Alba doesn't have that kind of range to be, you know, super heroin she's just i don't know she's there she's fine Damn. i'm gruffled is okay he's pretty good is reed but chicklist and evans are the one that make that movie worthwhile even though i have to suffer through the dr doom okay they're the buddy con i mean they're the buddy i i thank you jamie lynn jace no <laughs> in fairness to jessica Alba, they didn't give her much to do yeah she is the weakest written character in that do I like Jessica Alba? Sure. Was that good casting? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yes. Jane and I are right here. Because it, it's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, we understand. Okay. I'm trying to tell you, man. I've spoken. Chief is good. Chief is good. <laughs> I think Roger Corman made a good Fantastic Four movie back in the day. All right. Ryan says, this is by no means the worst. But I never liked Eric Banner's band. Eric Banner as Banner because Eric Banner already looks like a superhero. You didn't need gamma rays. Right. Yeah. 
I wonder yeah. if, like, with better casting, like, if he had come around and been a big star around the time the MCU got going, oh. where they would have slotted him? Because I feel like he is somebody they would have cast in an MCU film just because he's a, you know, he has that superhero look. He looks cool. Yeah, because, I mean, him, he, and that was right after Troy, so it was like, wait, what? <laughs> you guys got this guy? Is your mom a weakling? Right. Like, come on. Like, this is, this is a- Nah, get up. Come on. <laughs> Chris Evans was a good giant. Star. He was. So was Michael Chiklis. This is a good this is a good thing. And he was really good thing. The good Ben Grimm. He was so good as Johnny Storm. It's like there's no way he could play a good Captain America. I won't buy it. Green Man says Annette Benning is Marvel. Uh, that, that was an unnecessary twist. Uh Jace, you got another one that we can ridicule? Oh, I got one. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I got my first one. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, John Claude Van Damme's guile. That made no freaking sense. Like, uh, like the dude is literally the U.S. Uh, lieutenant from Belgium. Like, what? <laughs> Come on! Like, that was just stupid. I like that was there. There was a better choice for a guile, and that was just oh, he can do the kicks. That's not. I like much. how you want the video game adaptation character. As your first choice for a comic book. Oh, because that was, that, hey, it was kind of working. Snow Glare says, that's not a comic book. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, okay. All right. Hold so on, like, hold on. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I have one. Uh, Dominic, oh, man, I don't know why I didn't write his name. I know who you need to talk about. You know who I'm talking about. He Wade, talking. Prison Break, starring as Dracula, a.k.a. Drake, in Blade Trinity. Terrible. Just absolutely awful. I mean, they could have had anyone play Dracula. That would have been better. Malcolm yeah, McDowell yeah. would have been a better Dracula. And okay. I mean that in full seriousness. His Dracula was terrible. The worst okay. Dracula I've ever seen. The before. funny thing is, Luke Evans showed you how you could play a really cool Dracula. in Dracula Untold. Like, I know. Thanks. I, I, I'm still, again, I, I, that was, I, I was just mad at that one, so I had to throw it out there. I don't care. Worst casting. I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I'm always going rogue on these. Y'all know that. Indeed. All right, Chief, what's your next one? Keeping in the Street Fighter spirit. (laughs) Kristen Kruek has Chun-Li. Has Chun-Li. Has (laughs) Chun-Li. What are we doing here? What are we what are we really saying? Chun-Li? There was nothing good about that movie. That's, that's, like, that's almost that's absolutely almost, nothing. That's, good that's the movie. that's almost just the Scarlett Johansson uh, joint. Uh, yeah, Ghost in the Shell. Kristen Kristen Ch- Cruz is Chun Li, bro. I mean, Scarlett Johansson can at least act. Well, true, but Chun Li. There's 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 Asian actors and actresses. Chun Li, okay, like, why are you there? Hold on. Isn't she? Yeah, I think she. I'm not say? totally sure she. Yeah. Let me tell you something. If she is Asian, uh, <laughs> it's not very apparent. And there could have been. She of Chinese ancestry. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. I'm like, that wasn't yeah. that far off. It it what? Yes. Yeah. It's listen. No. Absolutely not. I know. It happened. Absolutely not. He was on my list, too. I, I, I don't I'll, care what I'll, I'll I couldn't help it. He, that was bad. <laughs> Sneak up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, you know, Mina Wing had done Chin Lee already, and it was unfortunate because she's, you know, she could easily done it. <laughs> okay. That movie, A, is Street Fighter. That is. Watch that. Go on Amazon Prime. That is still Street Fighter. That is real. Let's, let's just say this. I'm, 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 I'm part Nigerian, right? Okay. This, this is true. All yes. right. If there was a Nigerian movie, could yeah, I play a Nigerian that's in that movie? And that's my point. So I am part Nigerian. I've didn't. I've done it. <laughs> but nothing about me says, "Hey, we're gonna cast him." Cast a Nigerian. I, if they came and was like, "Yo, you, you Nigerian?" A little bit. 
23%, Nigerian, Nigerian, somewhere in there, almost 30. I it's no, I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. You know what I mean? Now, if they say Eskimo, uh yes. <laughs> yes, I'm taking that gig. Yes. I'm getting that paper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was not ready for that on all you know I mean? of the 42 levels that it entailed. Great man says Olga Karolinko is Taskmaster. Oh gosh. That was a unusual twist. I didn't necessarily that was unusual. It was it was yeah. It was bad. Ryan Daly coming here with a good one. I hated the Doctor Strange cast because I wanted Cumberbatch's Reed and Mickelson is Doom. McAdams would have been fine as Sue. I can't argue with any of that. Mm-hmm. Although I really think Cumberbatch nails that prickly nature of Doctor Strange. So, and yeah, he would have been a great as a Reed Richards, but I think they could find others. I don't know if Pedro's really getting the job done, but we'll see. I'm mm-hmm. going to wait till I see the movie. Mickelson but, Doom would have been great. Mm-hmm. Anyone would have been better as Doom. I'm Doom joking. Like, no, see, like, again, Mark Strong would have been great as Doom. Yeah. Like, I mean, just hearing him in his voice, just get the hell out of it's right. like just just said dismissive like oh i hate you people Can't yeah he he's unfortunately been cast as the worst in the comic movies he's been involved in kevin bacon is the black king sebastian shaw says rick cage you know i i'm not gonna necessarily disagree i thought he was good in first class but yeah not necessarily what i think of when i think of sebastian so i can go along with that yeah that's a good one and Jamelin, I'm going to go with mine before I pull yours up because I'm full agreement with you. Uh, Halle Berry is Storm. And much like Jace with Jessica Alba, yes, I watch her in anything. Storm does not look like Halle Berry on any level. And the, oh, it doesn't matter. Halle's hot. She's she's an in-demand actress. Let's put her in this little comic book movie and see what happens. No. Like so wrong. And Alexandra Ship, she's good oh, too and stuff that I've seen her in. Not as Storm. Storm is she is a dark skinned black woman, and they don't need to go. Oh, Hallie's fine. No, she's not. And the Wizard Man cast, it was an Iman. Yeah. That's where he start. It's, yeah, I was gonna say Naomi Campbell and Mon. Yes. I mean, Mon. It was just literally like I don't care. I mean, how good her acting is. That was because again, you don't need to have Storm say a whole lot of lines it's just i am this and it's like yeah like just- also howie barry is more like a cool like you know maybe she could have been based off the angelina jolie character and wanted um but she's more of a a cool like black cat kind of character or cat woman <laughs> she's not real elegant storm and howie wouldn't play that well anyway speaking of do not watch the union Mark Wahlberg does a great job playing Mark Wahlberg, playing okay. Mark Wahlberg in another movie. You didn't like that? No, because Mark Wahlberg has this much range. I mean, I, I can. Yeah, J.K. Simmons, Halle Berry. Like, yeah, I you thought mentioned, you a, mentioned I, those two, and I, you didn't I, mention Mark Wahlberg. Again, I, yeah, you get a Mark Wahlberg performance. Like, I, I'm not saying, you when you sign on for a Mark Wahlberg movie, you know what you're getting. It's a solid five performance. It's, that's what it is. Jeff, can you speak more on this? Because I, I I mentioned him last week, and how was he in? I mean, Green Man, you can speak on this too. How was he in that movie? He he wasn't playing Black Mask. I mean, it's just you know because you've got that thing. We've got a named actor. Let's show his face, and that's just not what you do with Black Mask. So it's like kind of missing the point right from the jump. It's like wrong. So it was what it was. Not great. Eh, it was probably one of my least favorite Ewan McGregor performances. Let's see. What else is everybody saying up here? Forgot about Ghost in the Shell live action. Was that good? I never heard anybody talking about it. <laughs> I think we were all the only good. reason to watch Street Fighter is for Melinda May. For the lady who played Cammy. Wait, who played Cammy in Street Fighter? Kylie Minogue. Oh. Great question, Snake Eyes. Why are we talking about video game cast? Oh gosh! I do. Steamboat <laughs> Willie's Mickey Mouse is so bad. 
All right. Well, all right. Okay. We'll, we'll bring it back uh, since I, I derailed everybody. So, Green Man. Oh, yeah. All the storm castings. She's always way too light in all of them. Yes. Mm. Go ahead, Jace. Oh, okay. So, uh, my next my next one is going to be Jesse Eisenberg is Lex Luthor. <laughs> that was just when it was announced, other than his bald head, it was like, okay. And then you saw him. It's like, what the hell is this Lex Luthor? I mean, especially, I mean, this is coming off. Hey, I didn't particularly like Kevin Spacey's return, but you would also was like, hey, Michael Rosenbaum is literally right here. You do not need to do anything. Just, hey, you see him in that, but this dude is playing Lex Luthor. There's, there, there should not have been an actual discussion, but here's his audition tape. Seven seasons of it right here. Doesn't matter. We just pop him in. It's worked perfectly. It's Jesse, also kind of bad because Brian Cranston was like bald and people were like, he'd be perfect. And he would have been great. So yeah, it was, like, yeah. it was when, <laughs> when this was announced, it was like, wait, we had already fan cast Brian Cranston. What are you guys doing? Or Barry Strong. We had already moved past this idea of casting somebody else. Like it was, we had right. like, it was Brian Cranston. I mean, like, and that's the small bit one. It's Michael Rosemont. What are you freaking thinking? Like, and Blake, you're right. My friend and I had full arguments that mine, me, or Angela Bassett. My okay. friend should have been Storm. Angela Bassett would have been a great Storm, too. It's just, I understand why they cast Halle Berry in that role, but it's like, gosh, you all don't get it at all. And Ryan says it. The problem sometimes is not the actor is bad for the part, but that the film's depiction of the character feels wrong. I feel like, like Hallie, you know, they decided here's an older version. She'd have been great as Jubilee. And, you know, of course, right. we're switching up everything. Her personality in most of her movies is way more fun loving Jubilee and not serious, stern. I storm summon, you know, that's that's not Halle Berry. And it's never been. And David Thanos, it isn't Star from Nigeria like she. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, that was like, what was it? When you saw Dark Phoenix, it was like, not Dark Phoenix, but uh, Apocalypse, like, get the, get, come on, y'all. Like, I, listen, man, I just be saying. I just be saying. Yeah. Y'all don't hear me. Because <laughs> they don't hear me, though. Uh, Mark A says, which roadie is going to be on this list? I heard people Oof. argue for each both ways. Also, J Law is mystique. <sighs> Oh, there's a lot there. Oh, oh man. man. Let's pick this apart. <laughs> Terrence Howard. See Halle Berry. Why? I mean, no. He was not great for that. He was a terrible casting choice. He has more of a slick voice, and he's smooth. He's not at all like Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes. No. Don Cheadle just, just has a problem not being a big dude. But in all other ways, he has that character, the roll down perfect. Which I think getting a little Philly, but he's fine. And I think he's good as Rhodey. Terrence Howard, not so much. J-Law is Mystique. She was fine in first class. Then it was like, <laughs> I don't need this X-Men franchise. And it started falling asleep. Days of Future Past is probably her last good one. But I mean, she wasn't bad in the sense of first class. Hey, we need somebody to look like Rebecca Romden in oh, Samos. Right. And uh, she's fine then. And it's just kind of like they didn't need to put her in all those movies. Rick Cage says, Ryan is not Hal and Nathan is not Guy. That is all. Shots fired, Chief. Who's your next choice? Robert Patterson. Batman. <laughs> so, what's, what's, so much disdain saying it too. Uh, you know what, man? He, <laughs> Dramatic turn, because because he's six five, he's six foot, right? Which it's a little, and he looks six foot. He looks small in the Batman suit, and the dude weighs one hundred and sixty five pounds, right? So you got one hundred and sixty five pound Batman running out there, six foot tall, one hundred and sixty five pound Batman. <sighs> he is six one. I don't know about his weight, and the Google his weight. They'll tell you. 
And um, I'm, I'm gonna agree with Chief on this one. <laughs> I just saw him in another movie. He looks. I'm not just five pounds. <laughs> and uh, the other thing about it is, man, um, he reminded me of the Penguin from Gotham, like the look they gave him, that weird hair. And I'm like, <laughs> Bruce Wayne is supposed to be a playboy, like. Gosh. Right? He's a millionaire playboy, a billionaire playboy. Uh-huh. This dude look like you know what I mean? Like he he may not have washed. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Just kind of like grunge. Like, you know what I mean? Like that grungy look. Um I don't need the towel, Alfred. Right. I need a shower, Alfred. Right. Mm-hmm. I let the dirt dry me. <laughs> so um yeah, it was just, it was just, I, I remember looking at the movie because I didn't like Shorty either because I felt like, um, Joe Kravitz? Joe Kravitz. yeah, yeah cause I felt like she was about the same weight as him. She was, I mean, no, she's like 80 pounds. If he's a such 165 pounds, she's like 80 pounds and she's like five foot. And I'm like, mm. and I think they, I don't know, but you know, they, they, because you want to, they're both. Um, they keep hitting you with these alternate realities, alternate reality Batman, and uh, I, that angers me so badly. It angers me. This is that. I'm gonna say, go, go. If you want to, uh, Tom, one, one of those other movies where Tom Cruise is playing phone with himself, watch Night and Day. Like, you, <laughs> Night and Day is great, though. That movie's fun. <laughs> Tom Cruise knows how to, like, hey, I'm good, I'm cool with this. I do not take myself that seriously. So yeah, Robert Patterson, uh, you know, you putting him and Zoe Kravitz, Batman and Catwoman. She, she she can go too. I mean, if you don't know one of y'all them pick her, you know what I mean. She can slide down that that slide too. You know, right, and, I, and I like him in other movies, but yeah. not as Batman, not as Batman, not as Catwoman. Ryan says, "Too bad Megan the Stallion is already in the MCU, so she can't, so they can't use her as Storm." Hmm. Is she? Yeah. She's in She-Hulk. Remember what She-Hulk's mess? I thought that was Nicki Minaj. No, it was Megan. Was it? Oh, the, the twerking part? Yeah. yeah. She Ooh. was in another part, too, so, yeah. Um. Yeah, all right. I don't know, man. I'm, I want to wake up. <laughs> to wake me <laughs> up, 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 up. David Thanos, Halle Berry was playing a different Catwoman. So that's why I won't put her in this one because in that role is patience. She's fine as some alternate Earth 98 version of Catwoman. And it wasn't her. She was fine in the movie. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it wasn't. They did not have her play Selena Kyle. And when yeah. you do that, I don't care. The that, movie was bad, just period. Uh, right. Thanos. That movie was the dance, the dance scene, young. Yeah. Isn't that a movie that you would watch in 2024? I would watch that movie. movie with you all. I would never watch that movie again. <laughs> and, and not only, I, you know what, man? I walked out on I walked out on the Flintstones, and 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 the other any and the other Holly Berry movie I've ever wanted to walk out on was was Cat My Woman, um, and and um. Yeah, that was like I said that that dance scene. Like, uh, don't even get me started, man. Because I'm I, I need to wind down. I need to take it down. <laughs> I'm going to sleep after this. I take need it to, down, big man. Take it my, down. My pressure, my pressure will be high, and I won't even wake up for my birthday. Right, man. Jeff, you're killing him already. Jeez. And he won't get to watch Daredevil season three. Jeff, he's not going to be able to watch Agatha. Right. Oh. Right. All right. Patterson looks like Robin cosplaying his back. Thank you, Thanos. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Pops. You know, I'm telling good. you, man. Chief is good. Chief is great. I'm telling you, these are the things that I'm saying. <laughs> these are the things that I'm saying. He's always saying this because you're close to your birthday, right? No, no. I mean, we've been getting along great, man. Pops and I are on the same team. We don't like you all. <laughs> <laughs> what did he tell you? I ain't gonna tell. I ain't snitching on Pox. Excuse me. Green man says Timely Jones's two face was not right. <sighs> He's correct. So, I mean, yeah, they, Two-Face was a 50 then, 55 years old, first of all. 
<laughs> Tommy Jones was Tommy Lee Jones has been old the whole time you've known him. He's like he, he's like the white version of Morgan Freeman. There's never been a young version of Tommy. <laughs> that's like Patrick Stewart's also in that category. <laughs> Man, Patrick, it's just because he's bald. He didn't look yeah. old in New yeah. Generation. Yeah, he didn't look old in Crow, but he looks exactly like he did in New Generation. No, Liam Neeson was in Crow. No, Patrick Stewart was in Crow. Patrick Stewart was, was in Life Force back in 1980s, right? You ever see that movie with the space vampire? No, I'm sorry, Jeff. I, I mean, he's in Excalibur. I mean, Excalibur, yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, it was a young Patrick Stewart, man. So I've seen him younger. I've seen him. I know, dude. But I've never seen Tommy Lee Jones look young, and I've never seen Freeman. No, look young. Yeah, they were yeah. always old. Yeah, <laughs> they had old faces. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. That that two face because Jim Carrey was great as Riddler for what they were doing. He was great. Yeah. And she's like, oh, "Where's man. Billy D. Williams?" Yeah, that that was after a disappointment. After you couldn't. Okay, we can't keep Keaton, and we keep can't Billy D. Williams. Also, was out there. Oh, it's, it's was a great movie. Awesome. Excalibur is so good as a dated movie. They could not do it better with today's technology because they could not make it work. That movie is just timeless because they couldn't improve on the, the way they executed the story. Like if, if they had someone like George Lucas tinker to make the special effects look better, that's all they could do because the acting, the whole setup of the movie, it's like you can't beat that film at all. Jeff, you could watch, uh, what was that, First Night? <laughs> Jim Carrey is not really in Timely Jones is not Two Face. He said no to both. I was saying, uh, who was the dude who did Riddler in the Batman? I agree with that too, Thanos. That was that was on my list. Uh, absolutely. Top of yeah, cool. What exacerbated the weirdness of Timely Jones playing Two Face was the director wanting them to play the villains like the '60s TV show. Jim Carrey can act like Frank Gorshin. Timely Jones can't act like exactly. Why would you even try? I need to watch Life Force. Man, Jamie keeps giving us stuff like Alpha. Hey, hey, Jamie, and they don't know, bro. They don't know. Mm. One, two, three, mm -hmm. drop it. All right, uh, let's see. I have uh, someone else on my list. Uh, speaking of Batman, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Everybody freeze. <laughs> what were they thinking? I mean, they had Bane in the movie. Just have him play Bane. You don't have to overthink this. Bane can play the big dude, big muscular guy in a mask, getting hyped up on some juice. He is the big muscular guy. Right. <laughs> it's, 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 this is the guy who got no for breaking Batman's back. Yeah. Do you? I mean, when you guys were talking about this, did Arnold, was Arnold the one? I know I don't want to be talked about using steroids. Do we want to tell him that he's using steroids or what? Like, come on. Do you want to tell him? <laughs> No, he might get roid rage. Like, like, come on. Paul Dano is the new Riddler. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeesh. Yeah. Man, okay. Another one to add to the list. Uh, Jace, who you got next? Ooh, uh, so I'm not picking on Batman and Robin. I'm going to switch it up and go with Patrick Wilson is Ocean Master from Aquaman. <laughs> Like, Why is that, Jason? Because this freaking should have been Aquaman. <laughs> Man, the dude literally, like, you're looking at this guy. Like, hey, yo, why are you guys, this, you guys are putting, you guys, you guys are playing in my face. This dude is literally looks like classic Aquaman. And it's like, no, nah, we're going to do something different. Like, no, he literally looks like you got him an outfit, slick back hair. Nah, but he's Ocean Master. But our dude who looks like Ocean Master is actually playing Aquaman. So we're going to be different. Like, come on. Hey, oh God. Yeah, there, there are definitely some shots in Aquaman where it's like, yeah, he really looks like Aquaman. <laughs> I mean, the way he just carries himself is like, dude, I'm actually the king of the sea. Like, what, what, what are we doing here? Like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna do our, our Aquaman's gonna be, you know, long hair dude. Like, I, I like Snyder's movies, but the casting, eh, it doesn't work. Oh, uh, you, Chief, you got another one? Electra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and why would you say that, Chief? You know why. <laughs> you know why. 
I didn't like to hear you say why. Everybody in the comments knows why. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, right. When they announced Jason Momoa's Aquaman, I wrote a list of 100 DC characters he would have been better for. Yeah. Because he's not Aquaman. So wild. And I hate it when they started trying to change up how Aquaman looked in the comic to better reflect Jason Momoa. It's like, no, these movies aren't popular enough to change up Aquaman. I mean, just like the funny thing is, Justice League had a version that looks like Momoa. But oh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna die to do her? Nah. Why not? I'm, I'm pretty sure Jason Momoa has rock blonde hair before. It ain't that. It's not that big a deal. But no, we're not going to do that. No. I hate that DC Comics says that. Yes. Uh, go ahead with your yeah. next one, bro. Bless you. Oh, but next one? Man, I got you. Uh, I got Kate Bosworth as Lois Lane. And I'll raise you an Amy Adams as Lois Lane. Hey, that's, um, Double down on Lois. Superman Returns? Yep. Yes, I got a funny story about that when we uh end the podcast. It's okay. Terrible, both of them were equally bad choices for Lois Lane. And Margot Kidder was like, <laughs> Good luck, you guys aren't anywhere close to topping me. Eric is that is in the best that time, I don't know if Margot Kidder knew Margot Kidder, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> let alone I don't copy on Superman, but Margot Kidder was. Uh, you know, we're so used to the to the to the to the old ways, man. No, I no, I'm sorry. I mean, but here's here's the problem. Smallville actually cast people who look like the characters. That was they didn't, it was just hey, this guy looks like super me, Clark Kent. This lady looks like Lois Lane. This guy looks like uh Lex Luthor. Mm-hmm. It, they didn't do anything crazy, it was just no, we're giving you guys what you want. Like, oh yeah, Justin Hartley, does he look like Oliver Queen, yeah, we're good. Well, one without a goatee, but yes, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, second best, Margot. Nah, yeah. no. unless we talk about some other areas. Erica Durant and season again, season ten of season nine and ten of Smallville. Like now, nah. you don't like Mitzi, Bitsy, Bitsy. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, no. Um, all right. I, I think Lois, she was really great. We'll call it a tie. I, I wouldn't say best. Okay, so like Margot's Lois, like Lane. she's I mean, really solid. Um, but but the, the, the movie versions, yes. beside Margot, trash. Yeah, there's 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 no competition. I mean, and I'm sorry, I, I can't say, I just I just thought Amy Adams, the, they just could have gave her more. They could have, but she wasn't. She wasn't Lois. She's a great actor. She's done amazing work. She just couldn't get Lois as a character. They couldn't write Lois the way she was delivering. It's just it was a bad fit. Chief, what's your next one? I think I'm out. You're done. The yeah. Amazon Reacher guy casted as Aquaman on Smallville. <laughs> And then by the end of it, he actually looks like I mean, I mean, he actually is like, hey, I'm really the king of the sea. Like I mean, he actually, I mean, he actually makes Tom look small. It's like, okay. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see. So I was waiting to see. Jalen says, no one said Ezra Miller yet. You were about to have him. I'm oh, he, was, he, 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 he honestly is, once we started talking about Aquaman, I'm like Ezra Miller. <laughs> like <laughs> That was another one. As soon as it was cast, it was. I'm sure you guys have a better option. And it sure Ezra's there's a blonde conduct, actor in Hollywood. Ezra's conduct after even more made it just really. This is the best you guys had. Come on, best you've ever had. <laughs> well, yeah. So Ezra. bad, bad choice there. Uh, did you have anyone else on your list? Uh, um. I'm gonna give. Um, I'm gonna go. Wes Bentley is Legion from Ghost Rider. <laughs> I'm just like Wes Bentley and stuff, but that was just horrible. Like, I mean, you just did not. Oh, Terry Hatch. I was going. Um, kid. Uh, yeah, but Wes Bentley just you know didn't scare me as as Legion. Yeah, I. I, miss it. I mean, even even though it was Peter Fonda is. Mephisto was better than Legion. 
Yes. Mm. He's solid. Yeah. I'm going to go controversial now. Ian McKellen as Magneto. Two looks super frail. And he was walking like he needed a cane in those movies. And this was like right around, you know, Jim Lee, and drawn Magneto, super buff. He just looks so frail. Like, there's no way this dude's taking on the X-Men. He's just... So when they recast him, so I recast him as Michael Fassbender, I was like, this is better. I just, I never really liked Ian McKellar as Magneto. Okay. Did you not like him? Because yes. when you saw, test, yes. when yes. I saw test, test photos, I mean, like, not test photos, but whenever they were showing the preview of Ian McKellen and, and um, Patrick uh, Stewart, it was like, oh, okay, I guess it's cool. But then you had that scene in X-Men where he's looking super frail. It just, I mean, it exacerbated like, oh, yeah, he looks bad old. Yeah, because he looked, he was skinny, looked old, and it's just, I know Magneto has a little bit more, more to him. I mean, you make it out with Rogue. Huh? Rogue is not going to make out with that old man. No way. No way. Especially, I don't want my power Rogue. No no way. Yeah, Yeah, Magneto was too old. Fastbender was a cool max. Thank you. That wasn't only one. Jamie Ian McKellen crossed my mind too. He's a great actor, but that was an odd choice. Great, like he was perfect as Gandalf, but man, it's just a better choice for Magneto. He was just like, ooh, ugh, yeah, yeah. just not a fan. All right, you got any more, bro? Oh, um, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Michael Kuditz as Lex Luthor and Superman and Lois. <laughs> that was terrible. That I mean. Uh, is this dude bought? Nah, he's just shaving his head because he's in jail. You know what's uh funny though, and and this is I don't know. You guys will probably disagree, but who's the actor to play Vader in the uh in the movies? David Prowse. One, two, three. The uh, are you talking about Hayden? Hayden Christensen. I never liked him as I never liked him as Anakin. I never. I, He'd have been perfect. Hmm. perfect I, heard, I heard he was difficult to work with. Her. No, no, I don't know. I'm not even like he just didn't fit. No, no, I'm not. I'm talking about Rucker Howard. Not, oh, yeah. I oh. mean, Hayden. Huh. Interesting. I, didn't love it. I never liked him, man. Um, I, he's never. This. I don't know. The acting was never. He on was part. playing a teenager who was. Meeting his crush again yeah. after a decade. Hey, listen, man. No. No, I don't care who he's playing. That's why you act. To, to, <laughs> to play different things. I'm supposed to go in there. I'm supposed to believe whatever character you're playing. And you didn't believe he was actually believable is a guy who's actually everybody thinks you're awesome and then you're meeting your crush who doesn't think you're awesome you everybody's been quietly kissing you no he's that little boy on tatooine to me yeah it's like oh you get carried as soon as you talk to your crush hey, oh, I'm, a hey, guys, I'm a grown i'm a grown you're not gonna change my mind it was bad acting and i hated it okay do you do you like since he's come back do you still hate him in the role I, listen man um he doesn't really <laughs> do anything um, you know, I mean, what I'm saying, he's mostly Vader as he's come back. Um, you, you watch, you watch the soccer, right? Yeah, it was all right, man. I just, nah. all right, okay. I just, I just, I just never really, and you know, I never liked him as Vader, uh, Anakin. You know, um, I, it was always dry, forced. My powers, Obi Wan. You know, Anakin, don't do it. You know, uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so, like whatever. These guys, these these cinephiles. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 We learned a new word. Right. New word. <laughs> <laughs> His acting has always been suspect. Thank you. Thank okay, you. but you said you like. I mean, like a King Collector. You liked him in Jumper. Who? He said he liked him in Jumper, but his acting has always been suspect. He's not a great actor. He was the lead in Jumper. It wasn't I'm like sorry. he had a lot of the other people to so bounce what? off of. He so was the I'm star. Whole, bro, I'll tell you something that you might want to know. I don't think Keanu Reeves is a great actor. Whoa. Keanu plays Keanu. Okay. So, Keanu you, plays you don't think he's a good actor in John Wick? I think that it's an action movie, and I think action movies 
you don't have to really show your acting chops. You can just kind of go out there and do what you do. But I don't have an actor. <laughs> Not a cinema file. No. Right. As an actor. I don't think Reeves is on my list as a great actor. Like that, I wanna, that I wanna, getting those 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 drama. Like if you put Denzel and Keanu together, or or why would anyone do that? Man, that would be a scene. That would be a scene part that I would like to see. Actually, um, I'm just saying that that even even I mean, uh, what's his name? Morpheus, uh, uh, Fishburne. I mean, these their their actors like he always. I remember the, the part with the girl with the white rabbit on her shoulder. And she was like, uh, you going to the club? And he saw the rap and he was like, yeah, I'll go. I mean, okay. and I remember looking at it. I remember in the movie theater at that time going, mm, he didn't really kill that. He didn't really <laughs> so, and you're laughing because you know I'm right. if, if, if you were put, laughing if, at your reactions. I always go with, if you would put Will Smith, I always flip it, put Will Smith in that role. And that would not have worked. Not at all. It 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 has to I mean that's what it I mean, just like you said, like action movies, you don't you need a certain actor. But you need somebody who hit those lines. Exa- I mean, to me, you need somebody who can hit dry lines like Keanu. If you have somebody who's going to overact it, overproduce it, it's going to kill. Do you think Will Smith is a better actor than Keanu? Yes. Okay, then. That's, that's just again, again. No, 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 no. I was going to say no, but then I realized he faked like he was loving Jada for like a long time after they split up. So, yeah. I mean, bro, he he did. I mean, he did the, the NFL movie. He did movies where he had. Listen, it is what it is. Fight me. Yeah, can't collect. I, I would. I would like to see a jumper tip. That would have been. <laughs> well, he, yeah, listen, yeah. the movies he makes aren't bad movies, bro. That's not what I'm. That's not you. 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 I'm saying that as an actor, he's not that great. And I'm saying has the. <laughs> <laughs> as has has Vader in a movie that the comic books they do the comic books about this I didn't like old bro, old buddy it's just what it is comic book movie comic book show I didn't like old buddy <laughs> I'm sorry but is that really a comic book I thought we were going they off are this I don't know what we're doing here Vader is in comic books I mean 